Demon Slayer is back. And even though it's shown up late, and even though there's only a couple episodes this season, I expect it to be amazing as usual. The Demon Slayer mark, whole lot of lore and plot. Something about 200, you know, BPM of your heart and your internal body temperature has to rise really high or something, right? And then I think that you also have to be around Tanjiro or at least another sun breather, right? I, I At least from the lore, it's, it sounds like the sun breather is the first one to activate the mark and then he then spreads it to the others if the conditions are met. You know, last season, you know, both Hashiras were able to get it, get the mark because of Tanjiro, I'm assuming. So in this season, even though it's called, you know, the Hashira training arc, I feel like us training the bottom feeders, the NPCs of our corpse is not really the main focus, but rather us training the Hashiras to get the Hashira mark so that by the time next season happens and we get to the Infinity Castle, which we got teased a little bit in the intro scene, that's where all the payoff will happen, right? Let's begin today's reaction. When I see library, I'm thinking Michael Jackson, Muzan. <laughs> well, they're both demons, but anyways. Tamayo is also getting reintroduced to the story. This is kind of cool. Konbanwa, Tamayo san. Demo kyo wa hontou ni tsuki ga utsukushii yoru da. Hajimemashite. Why is your voice acting so fucking epic, Mr. Crow? Oh my god. God. The whole thing of Tamayo in season one was that she is a demon, but then she's also been able to overcome her instinct or something, and she's been doing research in secret, but now she's getting summoned and she's getting back into the story, right? The master! Hmm. Bring you back to the research. Nezuko, bro. Nezuko! Am I crazy or is this a literal copy paste of what happened last episode right now? Did we not talk about this? Wait, wait there, there's. These lazy motherfuckers are just copy pasting the ex outro scene last episode into the intro fucking scene. Oh, yes! Oh, fuck. Yeah, to a demon slayer corpse. Opening. No opening yet. Tamayo-sama. Is he allowed to come too? You should We're going to a Demon Slayer corpse. Oh, oh! Oh! This is... Is that Muzan on the left? And the person that looks like Kokushibo in the past? Hold up. Because, like, they met before, right? Muzan has met the first Sunbreather, which is, like, our great-great-grandfather or some shit. Oh, dude, no, that scene, that scene, bro! Because, like, Muzan was terrified of the Sunbreather in the scene, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Do my paperwork, boy. I'm going to the Demon Slayer Corps. You should have come with us, right? I think so. Yeah, yes. Imagine as soon as she enters, she gets fucking cut down by fucking Demon Slayers. No, 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 no. In water, Hashira Gyu, Tomoka's pain. Tomioka, this sundry ass motherfucker was like, nah, I'm not gonna train with you guys. I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking do that every time. <laughs> Master, no! Tomioka specifically? There's no way Tamayo shows up and with research they're able to find a cure for Master, right? Also, do we know what the cause of Master's um, like, diseases. Because, like, I forget a lot of the details from season one because back then I was just, like, casually kind of, like, watching, like, almost, like, hate watching. But, like, we don't know the, like, what caused it. Like, 
Anime hasn't to told us anything about it, right? He's just sick as fuck, and we're just like, what is up with this dude? But I would like to hope that, you know, t like, Tamayo and, you know, Shinobu, and they, they all fucking do research, and somehow they find a cure, or maybe Nezuko being able to conquer the sun, that kind of research is able to find some kind of cure for whatever he's going through. And I don't know. He's so tsundere, he's not gonna talk to us, bro. This painful past. We're gonna get a B backstory today. Alright. Also, bro said he's gonna start training when he's on crutches already? もし一人ぼっちにしようってどう伝えれば分かってもらえると思いますか。この<笑><笑> gotta fucking figure out how to This season of anime is all about trying to reach out to depressed motherfuckers and trying to like get them to like come out of their shell like what are we going to do? We got to just be there and be like I'm here to listen, bro. And you can't just be like come on, come out of the shell. Come out hang out with us. We can't do that. We got to be like I'm here for you. I support you. Give me your backstory, I'll listen, and then we can cope together. Yeah, just leave them alone. Just kind of... They're in their shell, they retracted for a reason. I feel like if you give the onigiri to him, you know, he's gonna be like, Get that shit out of my face! Not gonna open this. Holy fuck, he's annoying. If I was Giyu, bro, I'd be like, SHUT THE FUCK UP, I HEARD YOU THE FIRST TIME! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 he said I'm coming in. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Tomioka is like one of the first Hashira we ever met in season one, correct? Because he is the dude that helped us, you know, contain Nezuko and put her in a box pretty much, right? After putting the thing in, right? So, okay, okay. Too close. <laughs> oh, bro's mad that we're cheating on water breathing with sun breathing now. Come on, man. Don't you see these fucking earrings? Nobody even took on, you know, Rengoku's position, right? I don't know if... I, I don't know if he's... Rengoku is a fire hasha. That's different. That's, that's totally different. Have we even lied to the entire time? He is the water Hashira, though. He, he, you, what the fuck is going on? It was a lie the entire time? There was no water Hashira? What kind of Hashira are you then? What, what kind of Hashira were you all this time? Did he, did he never actually state it? Never in the anime or the manga. They ever stated officially that he was the water Hashira. I would have to go back to the previous season and really look at all the different scenes, but... Holy shit! Then why the fuck was he in all those meetings? He needs to be had Hashira. Uh, unless he... Uh, 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 unless he just re recently just like, you know, put down his position. My, my, my brain. No, go away. Tanjiro is also persistent, man. Oh, he's back. What's up? 
He ate him? He did eat him. Damn, Tanjiro San just so fucked up from all the training. <laughs> Tanjiro is actually so fucking obnoxious sometimes, but like in this like chibi like face with the goofy music playing and Tomioka's face just being so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're on crutches. How are you gonna train? <laughs> Tomioka looked like he didn't even get any sleep. Look at the bags under his eyes, dude. He's thinking sleep deprived now because of Tanjiro. <laughs> even in the bath. <laughs> it would have been fun here if Giyu was taking his shit on the toilet and then he was like giving a toilet paper. Giyu san. <laughs> Forever stalk you? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You need to fucking confront him. <sighs> of the water Hashira training? The, 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 this is season one stuff. This 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 is season one stuff. The training on the mountains, right? The final selection. That that was, he never passed that stage, but still skipped and became Hashira's. But he's not Hashira. But he is Hashira. But he's not. He's. <sighs> Oh! Sanemi, maybe. Sabito to you. And a boy with peach color hair named Sabito. Do we know this dude? My brain is lagging. I completely new character. Sambit. No, season one shit. I've completely fucking forgot. Like, straight up, you need to understand. I hated Demon Slayer. I straight up didn't even watch season one properly. Like, I just watched, like, clips here and there. And then I got hyped up on the, you know, Mugen train arc. And then from Entertainment District, I, I've been watching. Season 1 stuff, the plot stuff, it's, like, non-existent. That's why I have all these questions. And, like, sometimes I don't even know the plot of Demon Slayer. Like, I ask questions, like, like you know, fucking, like, you know, the master. Like, did he ever declare, like, why he's sick? Sabito's ghost is literally taught Tanjiro. Because in the first season, right, um, Tanjiro was, like, um, trying to train in the mountains. And there was a guy with the mask. But then there was that trainer. And then there's this guy that also trained. And then... Sabito, so he's the ghost that trained us. But like, what do you mean ghost? Was it an actual like... What do you mean ghost? He's real? Like a real ghost? Was he having like a schizo, you know, mind attack? He was an actual ghost. Like a manifestation of the Hashira that passed. Well, he's not a Hashira, right? He's, he's like a Sabito, he's dead, but he, he became a spirit. Got it. It's all okay. I'm just gonna assume uh, it's Sabito. Sabito is this guy? And then um, there's another person, right? There's a Sanami, the boy that's family got killed by demons. But then again, every fucking family's getting killed by demons. Sabito was 13 years old. He was born in the same time. He was a strong, strong, and kind man. Master, show me your face! That time of the battle, he died alone. Sabito was alone. What happened? And he's using water style, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So he was killing everything so easily, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. And then everyone but Sabito. And apparently you too, Tomioka. The mask is cracked. Oh, what that tongue do? Oh. So Tomioka literally just like froze up on the first demon we ever saw. Really forgot? How can I forget something that I didn't even see? You don't understand. I can't forget because I didn't even see. That's what you need to fucking understand. That's why I have no memories or knowledge of this shit. So Tomioka was like pretty much useless as a kid back here. And Sabito seems to be hard carrying it. Tomioka just like froze up. <laughs> that kid just dies. I'm sorry. He never passed it. It's true that I survived for seven days and passed the selection, but he. So does he himself disqualify himself because he kind of passed out and got carried by Sabito? Got it. So he did pass by surviving, but he never got a kill. Sabito hard carried. He thinks that he shouldn't have passed. Gotcha. And Sabito pretty much died, well, I'm gonna assume, while saving the other kids. 
俺は水柱になっていい人間じゃないそもそも Is that why he's being so soon today about the training stuff? And he's like, hmm, I don't want to train with you guys and left. But it wasn't really, I don't want to train with you, I'm better. It's more like, I don't deserve this position because of what Sabito has done for me. And this is like the kind of a path of atonement that he takes. So that's why he's so distant from everyone else. It's not him thinking he's better than everyone else and that they're annoying, but rather, I don't even deserve to be here. The water animation down below is fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> それが一番。俺にはあざも出ない。I'll never manifest. That's gotta happen, right? This is definitely a flag. Tanjiro will be able to, you know, emotionally get him involved and then start screaming and get the BPM up, the body temperature up, and then Mark appears, and then he'll be able to kind of like. It'll be closure. He'll be able to kind of like walk forward from like this trauma of him thinking Sabito did everything for me and, and then he gets the mark. Yeah. Sabito? And this is a straight up ghost. But like how? It's a ghost! Ghosts aren't real! But they are in anime. Was there ever like an actual explanation of like the manifestation of Sabito's like will in this form of a ghost and how that worked? Did they ever explain it in season one? Or is this just Tanjiro? Just being so like dehydrated and like hungry and starved in the mountains. So it's just like schizo training where he's just like hallucinating. He's like, huh? <laughs> you know, it's just, just schizo training, right? <laughs> They're not real, bro. Yo, this hairstyle though. This hairstyle though. Holy shit. He looks like the sun breather from the past and Koku Shibo or something. It, it, he just needs to get his hairstyle going down and start sun breathing, man. Oh my fucking god. And the scar here was from the mom. Uh, no, not the mom. Th th there was some kind of like hot water splash. But then in season two, a mark appeared while fighting Daki and them because of the conditions that's being met. And then that's why it's like a different mark, right? <laughs> Why he doesn't claim himself to be the water Hashira, yes. And why kind of Tomioka put his faith in Tanjiro to become the next water Hashira? Because Tomioka feels like he doesn't deserve this, but if I can train this other kid in the ways that maybe even Tobito was fighting like, then he should become the water Hashira and then I can finally be gone and stop being so fraudulent but i want i would like tomioka to kind of embrace it right activate the mark you know be able to overcome his past and then move forward and tanjiro does the sun breathing stuff i never said the mark came back in season one the mark is in season two akaza. fucking akaza man he feels the exact same way about Rengoku, about how Tomiko feels about Sabito, man. Damn. Damn, bro. And I hate Akaza so much, but people are telling me that, like, <laughs> just, just wait till, like, Infinity Castle arc. Is Akaza, don't spoil me, but is, is Akaza gonna have such a tears, you know, tearjerk fucking flashback moment, dude? Are we gonna be empathizing with Akaza? As soon as like Infinity Castle arc happens, people are gonna forget about Rengoku's death and be like, oh my god, how could Akaza have gone through this? Oh no! <laughs> Stuff like that. You can do it next instead. Great Inosuke moment. <laughs> How do we get him out of the shell? That is true, because he seemed kind of useless before, until, until Sabito kind of clutched, right? And then he must have trained so fucking hard to actually become a Hashira afterwards. Uh. 
What color is your panties today, Q son? Oh. What a realization. What is the dramatic timing of the wind, bro? That one word. The thing is a Sabi to entrust it onto you. Bet he didn't think about this. Oh, the slap. Oh. This is Tomioka backstory stuff? Was this, was this season one stuff? So sister was gonna get married when she hid you from the demons to protect you. Sister's dead. Sister's dead. This is season one plot? This is new. Okay, thank God. Cause I'm like, what? I'm like, oh shit. Is this stuff that I didn't even fucking know from season one, bro? So Tomioka got protected by his sister who was supposed to get married. And that's why he feels like he should have died instead. And yeah, you're right. Look at his jacket. Look at Sabito's jacket and what Tomioka wears. Half and half. You're right, the patterns? Yeah, you're right. Why did you forget if it's so important? It's like trauma, right? You don't want to, if your friend dies and like you, you, you selectively want to like forget memories like that. It's like a common thing. No, not the egg, tamago. Sister! There she is, there she is. No, 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 the, the sister may have gotten off screen, but here's a picture of a sister if you guys have forgotten. Here, here's the sister. <laughs> to Tanjiro, this must seem kind of crazy, right? Because Tanjiro's walking was like, Hey, what about the things that, you know, Sabato entrusted upon you? Sudden wind flare. Ooh, and then Tomiko's like, Ooh. And then he's just like, sitting still there for like 10 minutes. And Tanjiro's like, Uh, shit, did his brain stop working? What's going on? No, 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 that line was helpful, but it, 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 it does probably seem funny that he just stopped moving. <laughs> Peak Demon Slayer humor. Oh, okay, just fucking do it. Giyu-san doesn't talk much, but he wouldn't have to talk during a speed eating contest. What a brilliant idea. I mean, he's not wrong. He, he, he's not wrong. <laughs> but these are the moments, right? The chibi faces, this kind of art design happens when Tanjiro only uses one brain cell. I mean, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I'm down to see it too. We're, we're actually doing it. We're actually doing it. No, that was worth it. This is a great scene. Okay. The fuck has she taught us, to be honest? She's probably busy doing research stuff and getting ready for Tamayo. Her eyes are twitching. Is that why she's always... It felt like whenever I saw Shinobu, it feels like she's held down like a poker face. Rigid poker face, but you can see her eyebrows like twitching here, right? So it's all about containing emotions and why her face is so rigid. Like the... So, is Shinobu like naturally just like super angry and upset? I would love to see a mask off moment when we get to see more of like, you know, scenes like this. Like, was there a scene in season one when she fucking popped off and got super angry yet? I would like to see a moment when she's fighting other, you know, uh, upper moons maybe in the next couple, you know, seasons where she like mask off moments. She gets fucking pissed off and it's like, whoa, what the fuck? Do we get a backstory? I, I don't know. Again, season one content, it's just completely just, it's gone in my head. It was never there. Have fun. Is, is Gyome Stone Hashira? Aren't you gonna get the mark too? Because she gotta do separate research with Nesco? 
あのあのおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお If it's a thing, then I'm gonna assume that she's gonna die. <laughs> she's gonna die in the future seasons. And for Tanjiro to evoke an emotional response and fucking start popping up. Like, they, like come on. Like, it's, if we got something to lose, like, it's a shonen show. Like, what do you think's gonna fucking happen, bro? Early 07 for Kanao. Okay, demon who killed my older sister, Kanae. The sister that she's at the shrine right now. Is this season one stuff? That demon. Revenge. What the fuck? Oh, dude, that's. Oh, really? Oh, they want to eat together? Oh. Yeah, what's the title? Nice. Finally, the training arc will begin, and that's the episode. And to you, Demon Slayer loyalist, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't have knowledge of season one because I simply didn't even like pay attention or watch it. Like, basically, the story of Demon Slayer is like this for me. I was the biggest Demon Slayer hater, and this is way before I did anime reactions, and I just didn't really give a fuck about Demon Slayer. And then later, my friends kind of said, come on, bro, check out the Mugen train arc, and I watched it, and I was like, you know what, this kind of hit. This fucking slapped. The ending scene with Akaza running into the forest as Tanjiro screams about how we won and how you're a fucking coward. That was actually chills. And then ever since then, I started to do anime reaction content, and then I covered Entertainment District arc in my old channel before it got deleted, and here we are. That's why there's an absence of previous season content except season three and four and my lack of you know season one knowledge but it is what it is i'm trying my best but you guys are at least you know filling me up with you know the necessary knowledge that i missed out in season one so what is the point of today's episode today's episode was a lot of revelations but honestly it's not really a revelation for me this is like new knowledge sabito the ghost the schizo training with tanjiro he was actually Tomioka's best friend in the past. And he should have been the Water Hashira, if not for the events of the final selection. And that's why Tomioka believes that he isn't even the Water Hashira, nor did he pass the final selection. Because he got hard carried, and he feels very guilty about it. The burden he feels. And he even forgot about the things that, you know, Tobita... Uh, sorry. Sabito like entrusted upon him until Tanjiro basically said, Hey, what about the stuff that, you know, Sabito entrusted on you? And then bro had a fucking, his, his computer started to stop working, just kind of froze and had a fucking backstory. And while Tanjiro was like, is this guy okay? And then it was a good. And then there's a little thing about Shinobu and Kanao too. There's some secrets about how the older sister of Shinobu died and the demon is still out at large. Do we have any knowledge of, you know, um, the person, the demon that killed uh, Shinobu's sister? It's gotta be an upper rank, right? There's no way there is a random demon. So here's a guess I'm gonna make. What about it's the upper two or upper three? The guy, I forgot his name, but he's the guy that was beefing with Akaza. He's like, a, he's got longer hair, and I think his trait is like taking beautiful girls' heads or something. Doma, exactly, Doma, yeah, yeah. So like, if like I could totally see it. Like at this stage, it can't be a random demon. Let's think about some kind of demon that might kill like a beautiful woman, not like Shinobu's sister. I'm just gonna assume that she's a beautiful sister. I think that maybe Doma is the one. Like the, the dots might be connecting, right? And then that's pretty much it. Today's episode was mixed with funny moments of Tanjiro, you know, having one fucking brain cell, and then Tomioka sharing his you know, sad story, and then a little bit of Shinobu stuff too. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this, react this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.